to say that a lot's happened this week surrounding CD Projekt and Cyberpunk would be an understatement. I still think plenty of people are still in shock about what happened with Sony and them not only offering full refunds despite their stringent refund policy among the worst in the games industry, They've also gone ahead and removed Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store until further notice, something we have never really seen happen to this scale. A lot of people are recalling that something similar happened with Arkham Knight on Steam, but in that case, I believe it was the developers who pulled the game from Steam after complaints of certain broken elements. With Cyberpunk, on the other hand, SIE here claims responsibility for removing Cyberpunk from PlayStation, which means this this probably was mainly a Sony decision. While CD Projekt did recently say that they engaged in discussions with Sony, I think ultimately it was Sony who told CD Projekt that we're gonna remove the game until this stuff's fixed. And I'll get to why more in a bit. This is especially bad though when you consider that the holidays are coming up, it's almost Christmas, that's when game sales really spike. And for the PlayStation version of Cyberpunk, at least, CD Projekt and Sony are going to be missing out on those sales. And for Sony to pull such a big game that's going to generate so much revenue outright, the situation must be pretty rough for things to get to this point. The aftermath of all of this is that CD Projekt stock has tanked yet again. You can see right here that from December 4th, there was a nosedive up until December 14th of roughly 33%, uh, 33.87 more specifically. But then we started to see that kind of rise back up. We saw a 7% rise, but then Sony announced the removal of Cyberpunk from their PlayStation Store, and we saw the stock now dive by another whopping 15.87%. So the total right now is at 40.32% that CD Projekt's stock has nosedived. Now, I wondered in my last video whether Microsoft is gonna jump in and do something similar, where at the very least they're gonna guarantee refunds after Sony set that precedent, and it would seem as though the Xbox team has decided that people should be guaranteed refunds, that their usual refund policy should be waived. So this is a tweet that we saw from Xbox support earlier in December 18th, 2020, that reads, Cyberpunk 2077, Seven, to ensure that every player can get the experience they expect on Xbox, we will be expanding our existing refund policy to offer full refunds to anyone who purchased Cyberpunk 2077 digitally from the Microsoft Store until further notice. Now, unlike Sony, Microsoft is not delisting and removing Cyberpunk from their storefront. They're just guaranteeing refunds. Xbox support adds here, while we know the developers at CD Projekt Red have worked hard to ship Cyberpunk in extremely challenging circumstances, we also realize that some players have been unhappy with the current experience on older consoles. To date, we have granted refunds to the vast majority of customers who have requested one to request an Xbox refund for Cyberpunk 2077. Please follow the steps listed on our Xbox refund page. Clicking on the link will take you to this page, which kind of gives you instructions on how to go about issuing a refund. And as far as Cyberpunk goes, that is going to be guaranteed according to the Xbox team. Usually the way Xbox handles refund it reads right here when you request a refund for these products and depending on the purchase or content type in determining refund eligibility we consider a variety of factors like time since date of purchase time since release and use of the product so they're definitely more flexible than Sony but plenty of people did report that when they tried to get a refund from Xbox after purchasing Cyberpunk, they didn't have much success, but now that's likely to change with Xbox officially guaranteeing refunds for this game specifically. And just to prove that the game is not being removed from the Microsoft Store, this is the listing for Cyberpunk 2077 on the Xbox storefront, and if we refresh, you will find that. It is still there, and if you go to your Xbox console and look the game up, it's still there. Whereas on PlayStation, if you try to look up Cyberpunk, it's no longer listed. If you try to go to Cyberpunk 2077's listing on the PlayStation Store, clicking on it, you'll see that there's just nothing there. And this is where I go back to the question of who decided to remove Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store. It speaks to me clearly when I see the disparity between how the Xbox version is still up and the PlayStation version isn't, 
that Sony ultimately made the call. You can especially tell when you look at the wording of these statements. So Sony said that SIE will be removing Cyberpunk and then CD Projekt actually provided a response to the game getting removed from PlayStation and provided the following update, important update for PlayStation users. Clicking on the image will reveal this statement. Following our discussion with PlayStation, a decision was made to temporarily suspend digital distribution of Cyberpunk 2077 on PlayStation Store. Notice how CD Projekt says a decision was made, not we made the decision, where Sony fully discloses that SIE will be removing Cyberpunk. And again, the fact that on the Xbox Store, the game's still up, it clearly shows that Microsoft Microsoft didn't feel the need to remove the game entirely from the store and that CD Projekt Red was fine with that. They didn't plead to Microsoft that, you know, oh man, this game isn't ready. We shouldn't have it up at all. I think if it were up to CD Projekt Red, they would still keep the game up on the PlayStation Store, but Sony has probably told them we need the game in a better state before we can uh, get the game back up, especially with the whole refund debacle. Recall that when CD Projekt Red issued this apology statement back in December 13th, 2020, they told people that they could opt to refund their copy and point it to the PlayStation and Xbox refund systems respectively. And a lot of people assumed that this meant that CD Projekt and these companies were guaranteeing refunds that they had worked something out. Turned out that all CD Projekt Red was saying was go through the usual refund process. A lot of people flooded uh, the PlayStation customer service believing that they were being guaranteed refunds. And so that was probably pretty frustrating for Sony, and I think that had a role to play in why Sony went out of their way to remove Cyberpunk from the PlayStation Store. It feels like they didn't want to deal with the wave of people that CD Projekt had sent their way. Microsoft, though, seems to be more patient about that, according to an article by news outlet Reuters. The headline here reads, CD Projekt not in talks with Microsoft about Cyberpunk 2077 withdrawal. My train of thought is that if it was CD Projekt Red who wanted the console version of the game pulled, you would see the game pulled on both Microsoft Store and the PlayStation Store. I'll once again give kudos to Sony for doing the right thing, at least guaranteeing refunds, and I understand why they flat out remove the game entirely from the store. And now to see Microsoft jump in and also guarantee refunds, that is ultimately a good thing, and it is absolutely the right move. But go Going back to CD Projekt Red's response to PlayStation removing their game, they say right here you can still buy physical versions of the game in brick and mortar stores and online, so technically the game isn't completely non-existent on PlayStation. All purchased digital and physical copies of the game will continue to receive support and updates as we continue to improve your experience. So that's important to highlight if you already own the game digitally on your console, that is still going to be supported like normal and you're still going to be able to play the game but new customers are just not going to be able to buy Cyberpunk through the PlayStation 4. For now, it's probably coming back later when the game's in a much better shape. Moving on, according to our knowledge starting today, everyone who is not willing to wait for updates and want to refund their digital copy can do so by submitting a request at this website. We are working hard to bring Cyberpunk 2077 back to PlayStation Store as soon as possible. And then beyond that, CD Projekt Red provided an update on retail refunds. The statement they published reads, We have just started reaching out to people who sent us a message with a confirmation of receipt. We send these emails out in waves, so don't worry if you don't receive an answer immediately. At the same time, we'd like you to know that our intention is for every owner of a physical copy or a digital copy bought at retail who has valid proof of purchase and and sends us an email at helpmerefund at cdprojectred.com within the time window to receive a refund. They even go as far as to say that we will do this out of our own pocket if necessary. If you're unable to obtain a refund for the game from the store where you bought it, please contact us via email until December 21st. As this is a one-time initiative, we will provide everyone with next steps only after the refund request submission closes. For digital versions, please follow the refund process of each respective platform. So as far as the latest on refunds go, that's everything. To close out the video, I want to discuss one final development surrounding CD Projekt Red staff who have been protesting within the company against leadership because, well, leadership really done fucked up with this launch. A lot of this really is on leadership and the fact that they set unrealistic deadlines and expectations and the way they crunch developers and the devs are pissed. According to the following report from news outlet Bloomberg from editor Jason Schreier, the headline of this article reads, Cyberpunk Game Maker Faces Hostile Staff After Failed Launch. 
So here's an excerpt that kind of summarizes everything. Frustrated and angry staff, understandably so, fired questions at the board during an internal video meeting Thursday that opened with management apologizing for Cyberpunk 2077's disastrous launch, according to two people who were present. Developers asked blunt questions about the company's reputation, the game's unrealistic deadlines, and the relentless overtime in the months and years leading up to the game's December 10th release. The meeting took place before Sony Corp's shocking announcement that it was pulling Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store. During the staff meeting, CD Projekt's director said they had come to an arrangement with Sony but didn't offer specifics. In other words, Staff didn't know that the game would be entirely pulled from PlayStation until the day of, probably, which kind of falls in line with what happened with the last minute three weeks delay to December for Cyberpunk, where a lot of staff didn't know until essentially leadership finally made that announcement officially. So, yeah, this seems to be a common trend where a lot of the staff members at CD Projekt don't know what's going on until the public finds out, essentially, because there just seems to be a lapse of communication. Though this is all based off of Bloomberg's reporting. I don't know if staff actually knew beforehand that the game will be pulled, but if they didn't, I feel really bad because it must have been devastating to find out. Now, this does suggest that CD Projekt and Sony did talk before the game was pulled. It's not as if Sony removed the game from the PlayStation Store without speaking to CD Projekt Red first. Moving on, the article points out some specifics about some of the questions that leadership was asked from staff and some of the fur that leadership experienced from understandably pissed off developers. When asked about crunch in the Q&A, the director said they had plans to improve production practices in the future, but didn't elaborate, according to one person who was there. Plenty of reports have come out about this, and when asked by staff about how they're going to deal with this down the line, Apparently, all the directors had to say is that they have plans to improve, but didn't offer any specifics. So that isn't confidence-inspiring, though who knows? One can only hope that things improve in the coming years, especially with what happened uh, with Cyberpunk's launch and the troubled aspects of that development. But for now, though, it doesn't seem like they can offer anything solid on that front. One employee asked the board why it had said in January that the game was complete and playable when that wasn't true. Yep, I know exactly what this is referring to. Recall that back in January 16th, 2020, when CD Projekt Red announced the delay to April of 2020, they flat out said right here, we are currently at a stage where the game is complete and playable. So now we're learning from staff who questioned this statement that it would seem as though the game was not in fact complete and playable at this time. This was a complete fabrication and lie that the leadership of CD Projekt Red pushed. Right here you can see Marcin Iwinski and Adam Badowski were the ones who issued the statement. It would seem as though this right here was a complete and utter lie. All the board had a say in response to staff was that they would take responsibility, except so much of the developers are taking the brunt of leadership's failure through death threats that they're being issued via email or personal messages. And, you know, <sighs> developers just... Uh, they're getting so much flack because of decisions leadership made, and they don't deserve this. You know, leadership really failed their staff with how badly they executed the launch of this title. Another developer asked whether CD Projekt's directors felt it was hypocritical to make a game about corporate exploitation while expecting that their employees work overtime. The response was vague and non-committal. Indeed, I do see the irony of this whole situation of cyberpunk's themes revolving largely around corporate exploitation and CD Projekt Red acting like a typical corpo, misleading customers and consumers and media and uh, employing questionable employment practices and crunch and other things that are seriously not good for morale and that is seriously not tenable. The article finally concludes by stating that several current and former staff who worked on Cyberpunk 2077 have all said the same thing. The game's deadline set by the board of directors were always unrealistic. It was clear to many of the developers that they needed more time. So once again, it's abundantly clear that all of this falls on leadership, who are the ones who are responsible for the deadlines that were set, who were the ones who announced the release dates when they did, 
and then delayed again and again and kept announcing the wrong release date. They should have never announced a release date until they were sure the game was in an adequate enough state. But yeah, the bottom line is that developers didn't have time to fix all of the bugs and glitches and to implement all of the features that were promised for the game. And that's obviously all abundantly clear now, despite CD Projekt's constant messaging of it'll be out when it's ready. Them saying stuff like this where, you know, we want to make sure it's ready for launch and we're postponing to ensure that this game's perfect and ensuring that this is the crowning achievement for this generation, only for leadership to pull what they did and to drag staff into it as well. Yeah, this is just seriously messed up, and CD Projekt Red executives and leadership have a lot to answer for, not only on the part of consumers and customers, but developers as well, who are internally protesting and are just full-on pissed at leadership. So yeah, this is where we're at right now, folks. It just, uh, it's almost hard to keep up with everything happening here. Nobody expected Cyberpunk 2077 would experience a launch this disastrous. It is just a hurricane, a shitstorm of a mess that CD Projekt Red leadership has set themselves up for here. As these developments continue, let me know in the comments below what your take is on all of this, on the latest developments with Microsoft now issuing refunds and staff speaking out to media outlets about their experience with developing this game. Drop a comment and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.